Standing over 100 feet tall, the Kelpie sculpture in Scotland isn't just a tourist attraction. It depicts a fascinating aspect of Irish and Scottish mythology. At night, they look stunning, lit up in beautiful changing colours. Located in the Grangemouth area near Falkirk, just next to the M9 motorway, the Kelpies were created by Andy Scott, the same artist who created the Aria statue nearby. But enough horsing about, let's get on with the video. It had to be done. Scott took numerous inspirations for the sculpture, including celebrating the role of the horse in industry and agriculture, as well as highlighting the association with canals as two horses. The Clydesdale horse is a clear inspiration for the sculpture, a Scottish breed of horse that is bred for hard work. Mythology played a crucial role also, however, and that's the main focus of this video. A Kelpie, sometimes known as a Water Kelpie, is a shape-shifting spirit usually associated with lochs and streams in Scottish and Irish folklore. It is often depicted as being a horse-like creature which has the ability to adopt human form and has the strength of ten horses. They take the form of a horse to lure people into approaching them and attempting to mount them, and then trap them and drag them into the lock. Other legends describe Kelpies as taking the form of beautiful women to trick men towards their death. Kelpies are also said to be able to use their magical powers to summon up a flood in order to sweep a traveller away to their drowning end. Many accounts state that the Kelpie retains its hoofs when appearing as a human, which has led some to draw an association with the Christian idea of Satan. In Robert Burns' poem, Addressed to the Devil, published in 1786, he refers to Kelpies. When thaws dissolve the snowy hoard, and float the jiggling icy board, then water Kelpies haunt the fjord by your direction, and knighted travellers are allured to their destruction. The legend of Kelpies may actually go back well over a thousand years to the Picts, the Pictish beast found on Pictish standing stones is a sort of sea horse, and may in fact be a representation of a Kelpie, or an early equivalent at least. The etymology of the word Kelpie is not fully clear, but it may come from these Gallic words meaning heifer or colt, with the latter making particular sense as it of course means a young male horse. Another water spirit similar to a Kelpie, but far more vicious, is called the Akushka in Gallic meaning water horse. Sometimes it is used interchangeably with Kelpie, however. Other parts of Scotland have similar mythical water horse spirits, including the Nugal of Shetland. Orkney may have the darkest creature, however, known as the Nukla V, a horse-like demon creature that probably combines Celtic and Norse mythology. Most lochs and bodies of water in Scotland have Kelpie stories, with Loch Ness being the most notable. Although a whole load of mythology and legend has been layered upon each other over the centuries, some practical reasons have been speculated for the origin of these Kelpie stories. One such story speculates that the stories of Kelpies help keep children away from deep and dangerous waters, as parents would often tell their children about evil Kelpies lurking in the depths. Kelpies can also be seen as a personification of the dangers of water more broadly, to both adults and children. They were probably a way for people to try and understand the wild and brutal forces of nature, such as floods, strong currents, or other events that cause death and destruction. Just like Achilles, however, in Homer's The Iliad, Kelpies have a weak spot, their bridle. It is said that if you can get control of a Kelpie's bridle, you can control the spirit. One story tells us that the McGregor clan have a Kelpie's bridle, passed down through the generations and said to have come from an ancestor who took it from a Kelpie. What other stories of Kelpies have you come across? Please let me know in the comments below. The Kelpie sculpture is well worth a visit, and not only forms a striking piece of art in the landscape, it represents so much history and folklore in Scotland and Ireland. Just half an hour from the Kelpies is the Aria statue, inspired by the Roman presence in Scotland. To find out more, please click here. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell, and for ways to support, the will be in the description below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.